Do you remember that quinoa 101 video I did and everybody wrote it and said, well, what am I supposed to do with that quinoa? We're making quinoa tonight, baby. We're making a casserole. Very exciting stuff. It's actually a little bit mad scientist thing happening tonight. We're going to have some fun. What's the name of the program? This is Jill for today. Okay, everybody, come on down. First of all, I have my signature glass of wine. You know when you cook and you're kind of creating as you go? you got to have that glass of wine. Just get, let me take a little sip. Okay, so what we have in the pan here is I have sauteed a half an onion and added some garlic powder, salt and pepper, and then I chopped up, I had some onion, uh, some uh, mushrooms, about four of them, so I chopped those up and I threw them in there. So this is all nicely sauteed. And that green stuff you see in there is little bits of kale that happened to fall into the pan as I was uh, sauteing. Anyway, so... What you use to saute them? A little tiny bit of olive oil. Thank you. Yeah. So now I'm going to add some really good, finely chopped, see they're finely chopped kale. We don't want any big chunks in there. So we're going to add that. Stir that in. I didn't want to really saute that kale too heavily. I wanted it still to have some, some body because this is going to go into the oven and it's going to bake. So we're going to Kind of stir that in, as you can see. And then I have some dehydrated sun-dried tomatoes. And I got these. These are the Trader Joe sun-dried tomatoes. No oil. They're just kind of dehydrated or dried. And I've got maybe about a half a cup of those. Those are going in. Oh, isn't this going to be so interesting? So I'm going to stir those in. I've got just my pan, just my pan on low. Just low right now. Then I'm going to add some dill. I kind of, I don't know, it just kind of sounds good. Kind of giving it a little bit of a Greek thing, I don't know. So we're going to add maybe ooh, half a teaspoon of dried dill. You know who's going to be able to judge if this is good? You do know. The, Moi? the director. Yeah, we're going to see what he thinks of this. Okay, so we got this in here. Now comes the quinoa. The quinoa. And I'm going to add a good amount. It's so see how fluffy this is? Look at this. Look at that. It's beautiful. I'm going to add maybe two cups of that. Okay. And we're going to just kind of fold that in a little bit. Get it all mixed in in there. I love these mad scientist cookings. You know, you never know what you're going to get. Sometimes it's really good. Sometimes it's like, oh well. I think it's going to be good. What do you think? Looks interesting. Okay. We got this mixed up. Now, I could stop here. I could. Maybe I should, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go for it. I have some cashew cream that I made. I call it Shannon's, but because the veggie nut, Shannon, introduced me to this. I'm going to stir a little bit of this in there to give it kind of a creamy thing. What do you think? He's looking... <laughs> It's just... What the heck do I know? He gave me one of these, I don't know, <laughs> looks. I can't cook. So we're going to fold that in. I want kind of a, you know, you remember the good old mushroom soup, you know, and you, you would add that to everything and give it just kind of a creamy thing. And I thought, well, the mushrooms are in there. I'm not going to add too much. I don't want to weight it down. We don't want to weight this down. We just want something nice and kind of light, but yet... You know, kind of delicious. Okay, I really think it's just what I wanted. Just a little something to kind of bind it. Because it's going to be a casserole baked in the oven. And I think we're going to... I think we're stopping there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to put this in a casserole dish. right? Not too thin, kind of thick. And I'll, I'll put that in a casserole dish, and, and we'll come back and I'll show you that. Then I'm going to put it in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. So we'll be back in just a few minutes, and I'll show you it in the casserole before it goes in the oven. So I got in a casserole dish. This is, um, I don't know, maybe 12 or 13 by 5, maybe. I'll, I'll see the instructions at all. Or, measurements and all you know and this is some of that wonderful vegan parma it's almonds and cashews and nutritional yeast a little garlic powder it gives it kind of a nice little cheesy kind of thing 
And I will put the recipe down for that as well. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of that on top. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that look good? Okay, so I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil so it doesn't dry out. And I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. And when it's done, we're going to take a taste. It's out of the oven. It's in my little tasting bowl. And we're going to take a taste. For It smells divine. So let's go here, huh? It's, hot. it's very hot. Very hot. Mmm. Oh! Yeah. Oh, man. Everything. The dill is fabulous. The kale still has texture. The quinoa, it still has texture. You gotta taste the onions or the mushrooms. It is good. I'm gonna take another bite. It's got everything. It has everything. He wants to try it. Go ahead, try it. He's behind, he's having a bad hair day. What do you think? Go ahead, try it. What do you think? He's taking one big bite. Uh-oh, what is it? You don't like it. You like it. He's nodding his head, yeah. yes. What do you think? That's good. He's liking it. He's liking it. Very good. It is good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a nice casserole, kind mm -hmm. of side dish kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It is good. Yeah, a little it, lemon in there. Is there any lemon no, in there? No lemon, but you know a lemon would have been good in there. Yeah. A little squirt of lemon. Almost tastes a little lemony. Thing. It would have been good. good in there. Okay. Next time. Yeah. All right, folks, we're going to have some dinner. Thanks for watching. Tell your friends. Remember, quinoa 101 will get you the quinoa, and then you make this casserole. And I'll make all the, you know, description down in the comment box. Anyway, tell your friends. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. If you subscribe, there's a little red, there's a little uh, bell next to that. If you hit that, then you'll always know when I'm uploading a video. Thumbs up, because this is a good one. And we'll see you soon. And Thanks. eat your ancient grains. Eat your ancient grains. See you, everybody. Bye-bye.